And in this video, we are going to see about the one of the most important circuit using operational amplifier that is called subtractor circuit. Now, in the case of subtractor circuit, we use basically two types of element. First is the operational amplifier, and next one is the resistor. Here we, we have used four resistors. All are different, and uh, their values are somewhat related. We will see how their values are related. Here we have used four types of resistor. The first one is the feedback resistor. Next one is the resistor at inverting terminal and next one is the resistor at non-inverting terminal then I have the ground resistor now the value of a resistor at inverting terminal and feedback resistor is same that is 2k in case here next relation is the value of resistor at non-inverting terminal and run ground resistor is also same which is 4k in case here now we have to note that since it is a subtractor circuit and we know that the subtraction operation is not commutative in nature that is a minus b is not going to be equal to b minus a so we have to be specific here what is the subtraction or in which and in which direction so uh, for the subtraction in subtraction circuit the relation is we have to subtract the voltage at non-inverting terminal minus the voltage at inverting terminal or we can say that we have to subtract the uh, voltage of inverting terminal from the non-inverting terminal that is the here it will be minus 8 minus 3 so it will give us minus 11 volt at the output so I can run the simulation and we can see the output is it minus 11 or not yeah as we can see here it is the minus 11 volt now I will change the uh, value and again we will see what happens so let I change it to the minus 5 volt I will change it to the minus 5 volt now what will be the result since I have to subtract minus 5 from minus 8 so minus 8 minus of minus 5 that is minus 8 plus 5 which will give at, at the end minus 3 so I will run it and I will check it so you can see here it is the minus 3 volt so in this way we can see that the how the subtractor circuit is working and how we have to design it the main important point which I which we have to note in the mind that the resistors at inverting terminal and the feedback resistor should be same in value and the resistor at non-inverting terminal and ground resistor should also be same in value otherwise we will not get the desired result or correct result and we will face error in the result so that's the way we use the subtractor circuit